I've lived in Davis County my whole life. I love that we have really pretty mountains and Antelope Island just 10 minutes from my house basically, which is a state park and I can just go there anytime and have fun with my friends and go on a hike. Whatever city you live in Davis County, it kind of just feels like a family. Everyone's together trying to help each other and connected. Mental health and suicide is something that's really become a problem in my high school and my community. I first heard of Well Connected Communities when my dad told me about it. He knew that I wanted to join a group that was making a difference. My name is Pablo Cerechea. I'm from Uruguay, South America. Mental illness, specific the suicide issue, into the Latino community is a big taboo. If we want to fix the big problem in the community, like a mental illness, okay, we need to provide the tools to do it. We had a lot of suicide deaths. We looked at our environment, we looked at our infrastructure and access to care and behaviors, all types of social determinants of health. And at that time, we're not coordinating efforts effectively. It became our role to convene partners. Well-connected communities really brought forth the importance of bringing in that community voice, the youth and the adults, and to guide, particularly for my focus on the Latino communities, what's culturally responsive, what's sensitive, what's going to help the communities be interested in wanting to be involved. We knew that we wanted it to be a youth and adult partnership just because everyone brings something important to the table. As a youth, I know what teenagers are dealing with today, and adults have experience and they have resources. Adults learn from the youth and youth learn from the adults, and together we're just a stronger group. Youth these days, they're making a difference. We need to be there, helping them. The Well Connected Communities initiative was a really natural fit. And almost this really great reminder for us in Davis County because we have all these wheels of coalitions working trying to meet the community's needs, but yet there's been a big gap, you could say, in really that equity lens and making sure we have everybody's voice at the table. Our Latina adolescents are one of the highest pockets in our county as far as attempts of suicide go. The only way to get rid of stigma is to talk about it. We're trying to bring back a storytelling piece to Davis County. Human beings were hardwired to connect with each other. That's where we find our purpose. That's where we feel that sense of belonging. And it's been shown time and time again that when you don't have that, it leads to suffering. So it's really getting people to connect. The Latino community, we care a lot about our children. Family is highly valued. I think that that brings a lot of strength. I'm surrounded by individuals who are so passionate about doing something and taking action. I hope that this program in Davis County keeps on growing. I would want to see progress. I don't think I'd want to stop working on something that helps so many people. It's just helped me become a better leader and a better person overall.